Hi everybody and welcome to the pit, the home pitch of the fire pit trappers that today will host Tenerus Thunder in the Death Ball League. And what a game we have here today. Both these teams won their first match and they now face each other in the final match in round two of the Death Ball League. The winners here will potentially earn a secure spot in the Death Ball League and avoid relegation. And the loser, of course, will face a relegation threat and that will all be decided in the third and final round of the Death Ball League. The Fire Pit Trappers shooter captain was injured in the first match and she will sit out in this one but they earned enough game points to buy an extra lineman. So the lineup for today is one brawler and four demon linemen. The Fire Pit Trappers is a demon hybrid team and this time they play with the daemon trait that will enable them to ambush and teleport if they take the risk. Tenuer's Thunder is a human hybrid team. They line up with one shooter, one dodger and three linemen. They earned game points enough to buy a healing potion, so they will bring one of those to this match. And then number four, Arik the lineman, had enough XP to level up. He now has the ability blocker, so he will win with a roll of three when he meets someone with the same brawl value as himself. And Reinhardt, the team captain, will face off against the big red brawl demon and he will win with a roll of six. Tenurus Thunder will activate first. But before they activate at the lineup, the red demon here will attempt to ambush. He will roll a die and on the roll of one he will be knocked out. Anything else and he will be successful. So he is good and he will be able to line up in the middle outer zone very close to the thunder players so one successful ambush now it's round number one let's go the crowd is wild and i think we're really in for a good one here arik from Tenura's thunder will activate first two attempts and two good so he will move down the pitch he will ignore the ball for now and then he will stop right in front or in between the ball and the brawler demon. And next up, a failed attempt from Reinhardt the shooter. It's over to the demons. And the brawler demon will activate first. At least he will try. Not a very good try. The turn will shift to Tenera's thunder. And this lineman will have one good activation. He will block the ambush demon on the right side of the pitch and on the other side of the pitch this one will also move four squares. Reinhardt again this time he will have one good activation that will take him to the ball and he will attempt to pick it up and he fails miserably the ball will bounce and it will go in direction number six which is down to the left three squares so he really knocked the ball away but it is still in safe territory between the human lineman and the dodger and the dodger will attempt to pick it up instead of reinhardt he is good on a roll of three so he will continue his movement down the pitch he will take cover between reinhardt and his lineman teammate arik will attempt three actions and he is good he can move first and he will attack the demon lineman with a block. And in this case, with his block ability, he only needs a three. So he is all good with a five and it's a nine. So the demon is slammed to the pitch floor, stunned. And Reinhardt still has one action left. So he can move into the control zone of the brawler demon and block his way making the ball carrier feel a bit safer, maybe. So the demons are up next. The blue lineman demon will have one action. He will move closer to the ball. And he did not get up. Instead, the brawler will attempt 
two actions, and he is in for re revenge, I guess. Ooh, with a roll of six, he will attack Arik, but five only means he's pushed back, and the demon will activate by moving forward. Now the green line man. One good action. And remember, the demons can move four squares, but they can also try to teleport. And when they teleport, they will roll a die, and they will move the amount of squares that the die will show. Now, the demon turn is over, and Tanira's thunder will get their turn back. Arik will have two activations. He will attack the blue demon, and he has the strength in numbers. Well, he will fail anyway. He has a second attempt. And this time he only needs a 2, so he is good. And what will happen to the demon? It's a 10. He will be knocked out. It took him a couple of tries, but then he really hit the demon, removing the blue demon lineman from play. So now this human lineman is not in the demon's control zone anymore. He has two actions and he will run towards the end zone, possibly making the way for... And what? Look at that! Three good actions for the Dodger and he will take the ball to the end zone. A very quick lead for Tanira's Thunder. They took out a demon lineman and in a blink of an eye, they scored the first goal. And the demon lineman, with a roll of two, he's not ready yet. The demons must line up with only four players. And this red demon will attempt ambush once again. And he rolls a one. His ambush attempt fails. So he is also knocked out. Only three demons will face a full team of human players. What will they do? The brawler will begin. He attempts three actions. One of them is off the screen here, but he is good with all of them. So he will move twice and he will use his third activation to attack Eric. And it's a six. He will hit him and he will force him back. A weak attack, but still effectful. Now this green demon lineman, one activation. He will go for the ball. He will need a three to pick it up, and he is apparently a ball handler. So he will continue with the ball, the final demon lineman, two actions. So he will move twice, maybe, yes, and he will continue to block the way for his teammate. Well, only three demons. What will happen here? Tanira's Thunder is up next, and first this lineman will have one action. He will... He will run towards the demon end zone already. Hmm, could be a risk. And the Dodger as well. He just scored a goal. He is hungry for more. But they still need the ball though. And then one action for Eric. He is not as strong as the brawler demon. But he will try to block the demon. And Reinhardt has one good action. He moves to the other side of this demon lineman and that gives them the advantage if this lineman can make a good action. He can and he attempts to attack. He will have the strength in number and that is exactly what he needed. A three. And what happens to the demon? It's a ten again. The demon lineman is knocked out, taking down Fire pit travers to only two remaining players on the pitch. And one of them has the ball. I wonder for how long they will hold on to the ball. The lineman will have his second action. He will move towards the ball demon. And then it's over to the two remaining demons. They seem to be out of options. The green demon with the ball will try three actions. He will fail two attempts, so he will have one action. And what will he do with his one remaining action before he will try to move? And that means he leaves the control zone. The human lineman will have a free attack, but he fails his attack. So the demon is free to leave the control zone. He will move four squares and he will take the ball next to Arik, and it's back to Tanira's Thunder. They have all the chances now to do something good. Oh, no, 
they will fail the first attempt. It's the demons again. Unbelievably, they still hold on to the ball. Only two players, the brawler demon first. One action. He will, of course, try to slam Eric down. He is good with his attack. What will happen? It's an eight this time. Eric goes down and that frees up the way towards the end zone for the green demon. He will try three actions. He is good with two of them. And that should be enough to take him to the end zone. Unbelievably, two demons versus five humans and still they score, making this one an even game. One, one between Fire Pit Trappers and Tenerus Thunder. And we have three demons in the knockout box. So the first one is good with a roll of five. He will enter the pitch. And the second one, the blue one, he will also be ready and knocked out players will enter the pitch up to three squares from the end zone. And the green one, he is still not ready to do anything. But at least four demons this time. No ambush attempts from the demons. So Tenira's Thunder will activate one good action and the lineman will protect the ball. Reinhardt will try and he will get two actions. So he will move to the ball. He will try to, to pick it up and he fails yet again. Is he really the best they have when it comes to handling the ball? Well, at least the ball will bounce backwards towards the human half of the pitch. So they still have a chance. And... No, they will lose their turn. It's the demons. And yeah, this time the green lineman will try and he will also fail. It's a very nervous match at the moment. And I can understand that. There is a lot at stake here in the death ball league. Look at that again. Failed activation attempts. The demons will have a chance now. The brawler demon is usually very effective. One good action and he will run behind the human player. He will chase the ball. Now the red one. Also one good action and he will try to stop Reinhardt here on the right side of the pitch. So two actions for the next demon that will take him almost to the ball. He will take his first action to move as normal and then he will try to teleport. So he will roll a die and only a two. That is the risk of teleportation. So finally the blue demon, two good actions. And he will move four squares and then he will, yeah, he will also try to teleport and this time it paid off. He can move six squares. So... He can, if he wants to take the ball, he will have to move through the control zone of Eric. So he will stop in this square right next to the ball. And the turn is back on human hands. Tenura's thunder. And one good action. He is not in anybody's control zone. He will walk right in to these two demons and try to block them. Eric has two good actions. He will slam the blue demon with his first action. And the result is at 10. He is really on fire. He will take yet another demon right out in the knockout box. And he will move into the face of the brawl demon with his second action. And the dodger will have three failed attempts. It's the demons again. Now they are down to three players, but that usually is enough for them to score. Let's see. Two actions for the green one. He'll have to remove this lineman to be safe. It will take a roll of four and, well, he's good. What will happen? It's an 11. Now it's payback time for the demons. The human lineman is so close to be injured. He is only knocked out and that evens 
the number of players on the pitch a little bit. Now let's see what the demon will try to pick up the ball. But he is not able to do that. The ball will bounce right towards the human end zone. Three squares. Not bad for the demon, but it's looking increasingly bad for Tenerus Thunder. The red demon will attempt two activations. One is good and he will attack Reinhardt. He will need a three only because he has the superior brawl value, but he will not be successful. Now the brawl demon. Two good attempts. He will attack Eric. Normally he will need a three, this time a four because he's surrounded by another human player. He will fail his first attempt. And the second one is three, not enough. And that concludes the demon turn. It's now turn 17, back to Tenerus Thunder. And Emmerich, the dodger, will go for the ball. Two attempts, one is good, so he will reach the ball. Now he has to pick it up, he will need a three. And he takes the ball with him, continues his movement, but it will only take him to about there. Now Eric will try to get the brawler demon down, but he fails his attempts. It's the demon's... And of course, the green demon here, Gisgisu, will activate and go straight for Emmerich and the ball. Two good actions. He will use one to move to Emmerich and then he will attack him. And he will need a three only. He is good with a four. And what will happen? It's an injury! He will really punch the soul out of Emmerich's body. He will of course lose the ball, but that's the least of his problems now. And now it's a really good time for Tenerus Thunder to use their healing potion. We'll see where the ball goes first. It will go straight into Giskisu's arms. And can he pick it up? Oh yes, he can. He can hit and he can handle the ball. And what with poor Emmerich? He quickly drinks the healing potion that will give him minus one on the injury roll. So it's not a four, it's a three. He is out for the rest of this match, but he will return for the next one. It could have been far worse. Whew. And the brawler demon will fail his activations. They have the ball, but the turn will be the human side. Eric, what can he do now? He is really under pressure. Two actions. And his first is not a successful attack, but the second one, he will finally hit the brawler demon. And with a roll of eight, he will stun the demon. And that will free up this lineman, who will go straight for Giskasu with the ball. Two actions. That could be Tenura's Thunder's final chance to stop the demons from scoring. We are now turn. 20. So the demons will activate and the brawler demon will stay down and not recover. Now Giskisu, he has two good actions. I think he will be able to make it to the end zone, but he will try to remove the lineman first. And he cannot remove him. Very lucky for Tenerus Thunder. What will he try then? Will he attempt to leave the control zone? Yes, and that will give a free attack to the human lineman and he will hit. It was a chance for the demon to go to the end zone. Instead, he will be hit, leaving the control zone of the human lineman and the ball will bounce away and it will go right up to Eric. What will happen to the demon? It's a 10. He's knocked out. This is a brutal match. I have not seen anything like it for a very long time. Another demon in the knockout box. Only one is left standing on the pitch. He fails two activation attempts. So one good and he will attack Reinhardt. He needs a three. So Reinhardt will be hit. And for a change, he's only pushed back. And... That is the end of the demon turn. They are again down to only two players. Eric has the chance to pick up the ball. He will fail both attempts. It's the demons again. 
And he also fails twice. The turn will go back, but he will have a chance to move first. He will position himself right in the middle of the pitch. And two actions for this human lineman. He goes for the ball and he picks it up. Let's see. He can continue his movement. That will take him way into fire pit trapper's territory. Eric will try to follow, but for the second time in a row, he will fail everything. The demons now, they have a chance to stop the human side. Only one good action, so he can move into his control zone, but not stop him. And finally, the brawler demon, Unshak, will get back into the game. One action to recover and one to attack Eric successfully. What will happen to Eric? Do we dare to see it? Well, he's only pushed back. Three human players versus two demons. This match is increasingly unpredictable. Reinhardt will attempt to activate. He is good with one action. He will move towards the end zone. Now the human lineman with the ball. No, instead Eric will attempt and this time he will not fail everything, so he will move and, well, onto the backside of the demon, blocking his way. And now the lineman with the ball failed two attempts. He has one good action. He will try to leave the control zone of the demon, and the demon will fail his free attack. So the lineman is almost in the end zone. Not completely, though. It's not over yet for the demons. They can still stop the human side from scoring. And of course, they will risk everything with three attempts. Too good. And the demon will dance onto the other side of the human lineman. And then he will attack him. And he is good. He will slam down the human lineman. And of course, the ball will bounce. That was in the very last second he stopped the scoring attempt but the ball will bounce into the end zone now and no demon will be able to pick it up but Unshak the brawler demon still has an activation three attempts too good so he will go for Eric yet again and he will hit him Eric really takes a beating at the moment and this time he is down and stunned again not pushed, he is down, and the demon will move. Let's see, yeah, he will, he will try to teleport. Oh, and that's a poor teleportation attempt, only one square. He could have reached a Reinhardt, but he didn't. So it's the human's side. Only one human player standing at the moment, and that is the team captain shooter Reinhardt. He will need two actions to go and reach the ball. He will try three times, and he is good with all three attempts that will take him into the end zone and into the square with the ball. Now all he needs is to pick it up and it's good. It's a five. He will pick up the ball in the end zone and he will score. It's 2-1 to Tanuris Thunder and at this very moment they are on top of the league. Now let's see the fate of the knocked out demons. The green one is good. He will enter the pitch and the blue one he is ready for action and that will really be necessary for the fire pit trappers they are trailing and the final demon is ready as well all five demons will line up here and what about the human side they have one injured player so this is only the knocked out player who can enter the pitch and he will not. So three human players will line up and they will line up right where they were stunned. So it's a very complicated beginning of the match. Only one player, Reinhardt, between the ball and the human end zone. And he has a lot of demons facing him. The brawler demon moved to the ball and then failed attempt. 
so it's up to Reinhardt now. What will he do? He will fail both his attempts. The demons are close to the ball. It's round number 30. The blue demon lineman attempts to move twice and he is good. So he can move all the way to the ball and he can also pick up the ball. The demons are now controlling the ball and the path to the human end zone is more or less clear. Unshak has one good action. He will block Reinhardt and try to stop him from moving and then they will fail. And it's back to Tanira's Thunder. Eric is up first. And he fails twice. Back to the demons again. Time is running. Unshak the brawler. One action. He will attack Reinhardt. And he is way stronger. And what will happen to Reinhardt? It's a 10 of course. He will not only stun him. He will completely remove him to the knockout box. And that I cannot see how Tanira's Thunder can stop the demons from scoring now. He failed two attempts, so it's back to the humans now. But still, it's up to Eric. And he has two good actions. Maybe he can catch up on the blue demon lineman. He can reach him and move into his control zone. At least that will slow him down. And at the other end of the pitch, this human lineman is surrounded by demons. He has one good action. So he can attack a demon lineman. But he is outnumbered. He will need a 5. So nothing happens. And that's it for the human side. This turn it's back to the demons. Turn 34. Unshak will try to activate first. Two attempts. And he is good. He can move to uh, Eric. And he can of course uh, try to attack him. But he will fail. So Eric is still standing. And he is standing in a very unfortunate position for the demons and now this demon fails so the ball carrier did not move he did not get any closer to the end zone and eric he has two actions he can attack the lineman he will need a three because of his block ability but unshack provides the strength in numbers for the demon so eric will need a four he fails his first attempt, but then he is successful. He will hit the blue demon with the ball, so he will lose the ball. And what will happen to the demon? Yeah, of course, it's at 10. He is knocked out and removed from the pitch, and he will lose the ball. It's a desperate attempt from Eric and the Tenura's Thunder to pre prevent fire pit trappers from scoring. And that will secure the human victory. The ball is loose now and time is running. And still there is an activation here at the other end of the pitch. The human lineman leaves the control zone or at least he tries. He will be knocked down and he is stunned. Can the big clumsy brawler demon Unshak do anything with the ball to Activation attempts and they are both good. So the first one, Unshak will try to remove Eric and he's good. And what will happen to Eric? It's a seven. It's enough to slam him down. So he has one move action now. So he can move towards the square with the ball. Can he pick it up? And yes, he can. He has the ball. One big brutal brawler demon with the ball. And the green lineman... He will have two good actions so he can run towards his teammate, try to aid him in any way possible. And then they will fail everything. Two human players left on the pitch and both of them are stunned. It's turn 37. Eric will attempt to recover. Two good actions. The first one is a recovery reaction. And then he can move and block the way for Unshak. And... One good attempt that will recover the human lineman, but with two failed attempts, it's the demons again. But time is running. Unshak with three attempts, two good ones, 
They really have had their struggles in this match, Unshak and Eric. And Unshak will fail his first attack on Eric. And the second one, it's a four. It's enough. Again, he will... Ooh, it's very close. He is so close to send Eric to the knockout box. But he is only stunned. And the Green Demon Lineman has two good actions. He will move all the way to the end zone. And he will be waiting, but the ball is not yet there. This is very, very exciting. The match is almost over. And the two demon linemen and the human linemen fight it out at the fire pit trapper's end zone. Now this one moves closer to the center of the pitch. It's back to the humans. Eric, what can he do? He can fail. And that leaves... The final turn, turn number 40, to the demons. Can they get the ball to the end zone? On Shaq, the brawler demon with the ball will need two good actions. He will try three attempts. He fails two of them, so only one action. It's not enough to get him to the end zone unless he teleports. He is six squares away from the end zone. He will need to teleport. He can also try to throw the ball, but that will need a six as well and then the green demon lineman will have to catch the ball so that's even harder he will have to teleport and nothing else but a six will be good come on is it possible for the fire pit trappers it is he rolls a six he will teleport to the end zone and he will make the last move of this incredible match Fire Pit Trappers will score and even the game. It's 2-2 two, two, and this is all over. What a match. And now the player of the game committee has voted. Player of the game for Tanira's Thunder is the shooter Reinhardt. And the game winnings? Five game points for Tanira's Thunder. Not bad. And they will of course get one point out of this match. Player of the game for Fire Pit Trappers is the Red Demon Lineman Rak Sun. And they will earn seven game points from this match. Definitely not bad. And as with Tenira's Thunder, they will gain one point. And then they will have their Demon Shooter back for the next match. Both these teams will move to the top of the Death Bowl League, more or less secure, but not completely safe from relegation. But they look good. Three Death Bowl matches still left in this first season. Thanks a lot for watching this Death Bowl match. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I hope you'll join me for future matches.